Hey, I'm Sulkus. Last year, on the 18th of August, I got banned. I got a third offense punishment, which resulted in a 14-day ban. That is the second highest punishment that Riot Games can give after the permaban. Note that I've never been banned before on this account, so I skipped the first and the second offense, which are both chat bans. I contacted Riot Supports and I received a chat log, which I later debunked towards the employees of Riot Games Support. And this is where I found some really interesting and some really juicy bits. I can admit that some of the things that I said is referred to as toxic, and I've learned to accept that, but I didn't quite get how it could be that offensive so that it skipped the first and the second offense punishments. So, this is what I wrote to Riot Games. Let's take a trip down memory lane. So, that looks simple enough, right? A bit of questions to clear things. Shouldn't be too hard to answer. But oh, how wrong I was. I received this. Please pause the video if you like to, but to be honest, there isn't much to see here. It's pretty much an automated answer, followed by a real cringy quote, which all rioters on the support side has because it's cool or something. If you ask me, it's just tilting as f to see. Here is also the chat log, which we will look further into in a bit. At this point I was pretty upset and disappointed with the answer that I received, so I sent them this. Then, out of nowhere, the god, the legend himself, Gabs88, came. And, well, he didn't make much sense at all. Actually, I don't. I don't really think he read my ticket at all, or at least that's the impression that I got. So I'm getting my ass whooped by the right game support, and I'm getting so fucking frustrated. Uh, I sent them this. So this is where things get really interesting. Look at this mail that Gabs88 sent me. He says that I'm trolling. But that's not what it says in the client. It says I have a negative behavior. Not trolling. So, I watched the games that I played, and they are clearly referring to my kindred support. So I went ahead and said, trolling? In what way were I trolling? Trolling is very hard topic, and I think it's very hard to define what a troll is, especially in a game so huge as League of Legends, because there's off picks, and sometimes off picks are considered troll picks, but there's a very fine line. And who decides this line? Is it Riot? And shouldn't they go out with what's allowed and disallowed? I want to give an example. So, in Worlds, 2016, Gorilla played Misfortune support against Syra. I remember the chats. They were like, what, what is going on? Did he mispick that? Is, are they going to redraft? But no, Misfortune works really well as a counter to Syra support. Like, even today, it's a good pick against Syra. And it's always a pocket pick of mine. And I know many players who have it as a pocket pick against Syra. Many people consider this a troll pick until Gorilla tried it. But he didn't invent it, someone else did. But did they get punished by playing Misfortune support? Probably not. But did they get flamed by? Probably. And that's what I think is very sketchy. How do you tell if someone is trolling? by picking an off-pick, and shouldn't Riot really encourage that, so they, so there are more playstyles? If something is unnatural, or not how the game developers intended it to be, 
then I see it as a feature, a bonus, not as something that you can get banned by. And even with off picks, you have good games and bad games. But if you have a bad game as an off pick, or an off meta pick, I should say, it's very much like a self driven car in the sense that people are always looking for a failure. They expect a failure and they want to be right. So when the failure comes, they be quick about it and point it out. But at the same time, it could do even less harm than a normal car. I think it's the same to say for the off meta picks. You're just sitting there waiting for a mistake so you can tell them, oh, I was right. That pick sucks, why did you pick it? Sorry about this little rant. Let's go back to the mails, because that's where we're You've focusing today. Mail. So I received this from Mighty Ted, also on the support. It's, it must be noted that they very often switch, switch the people that you're talking to. So it's getting very hard to have a conversation with the people and to really present your arguments. And they present theirs because it's always a new person on the thread. So, apparently they can't tell me in what way I was trolling because they want to avoid controversial topics. Like, for instance, the Singed player who got banned for playing Singed support. I think this is a new approach from the support side, but it's very... it's very transparent. So they are clearly trying to finish the conversation here. And I'm not finished. I have plenty more things to say. Like, for instance, they never took my counterparts into consideration. Doesn't seem the context matters too much because they have trigger words. Like, in my case, they have the trigger word autism. I decided that it was time to take this to a whole new level. The live chat. For the sake of this video, I'm not gonna include all the bits from the chat, but I will post it in the description so you can read it and see for yourself. So, when I headed into this chat, I wanted to be as annoying as possible, but in a polite manner. I wanted to see what they had on me, because I didn't think it made a lot of sense. So the goal was provoke him so he says something that he isn't allowed to say. I got some really juicy bits right here. So we started off greeting each other and uh, I presented my, uh, my case for him. I then went ahead and asked him pretty straightforward questions uh, about the case and wanted him to answer it. But he said that he couldn't and he couldn't and he wasn't allowed to and he couldn't. He didn't answer anything until I asked him this. You do not answer me, friend. How am I supposed to improve if I do not know what I did wrong? And not the toxic bit, but the trolling bit. He replied, Trolling means that you were assisting the enemy team and just roaming around the map, not quite helping your own team. Assisting the enemy team by roaming? Also, it means you trolled other players in Champion Select with swapping the champions. Yes, by doing nothing, also stealing kills. Actually, I thought he was trolling at first. Uh, or just not being serious, because, well, stealing kills, that's something you used to say when you were level 20 and you didn't know any better. And then saying that roaming is trolling. Like, how would you be able to know if if a roam transfers into a kill or an assist until you've tried, until you've actually done it? The chat then continues, and I say, I most of the time take kills because there has been many times people got away if I didn't. Wouldn't that be considered more troll than actually taking the kill? Well, if you consistently take kills, that wouldn't be okay. According to who? Riot? According to the game and to our community, who is important. 
They released Pike, a champion whose sole purpose with his ult is to take kills. Taking kills is not trolling. Yes, but only taking kills, it's not okay. He later on went ahead and said that he doesn't play ranked games at all and that he doesn't find it interesting. But how can you review the community if you're not even part of the community? Isn't that very, very, very sketchy? I would like the community to actually take part in reviewing negative behavior and not just some random guy or girl sitting across the ocean. I've climbed since season 3 from bronze to diamond. So I've been in every single elo in between that. And I can tell that there's a huge difference between toxicity in different elos. Wouldn't the smartest way be that a gold player reviews a gold player and a platinum player reviews a platinum player and so on? I don't know. What do you guys think? Write in the comments below what you think about this whole situation and how you think we can solve it together as a community. This has been Selkus. I'd like to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Have a good one. Bye.